is a Lindronate. It's a bone stabilizer. It helps increase bone production when a patient has a bone tumor. So the bone tumor is literally eating away at the bone, the forces of the bone. The bone is weakened and zelogenate will increase bone production. So you'll form new bone. You can actually form a bridge and uh, if you have a pathological fracture already, you can cause bridging of new bone and stabilize that uh, fracture. And then the other thing, the most important thing about zelogenate within a 12 to 24 hour period, if a dog comes in non-weight bearing leg, is in excruciating pain, they're actually using the leg the next day. So it takes away pain. And it's a long acting, has a long acting mechanism. It's given as an intravenous strip over about 15 to 20 minutes. It can last for an entire month. So they come in for a 15 minute drip and then the effects of that drug will last an entire month until their next visit with us. And they'll continue on with that medication monthly as long as quality of life is good and as long as they're using the leg and it's, and it's working. Um, in the lab, the, these drugs, they're studying these drugs in, in the laboratory. They actually lyse, and, meaning kill, osteosarcoma cells. So, they're, so we feel that there, that there is a possibly effect of, of killing cancer cells locally and potentially pulmonary metastatic disease that may be there. Um, so, uh, Zolidronate is um, a trial that we started, oh, I don't know, maybe it's been a year. Um, we haven't marketed that, we haven't, we need to let people know more about it. We send out letters to the vets, but I don't think a lot of people know about Zolidronate. Mm -hmm. So, um, if you went to your primary vet and um, your only option would be to amputate uh, or have a limb spare, you know, color estate. But with the zelogenate, um, dogs that can't be an amputate, uh, are not an, uh, sorry, are not a candidate for amputation can have another treatment option that isn't radiation and we're having beautiful results. I mean, it's just, it's nice. Even, the bottom line is most people know that the leg will break. You know, if you have a, a osteosarcoma leg, eventually the leg is going to fracture. But um, our biggest thing is not to keep them in a bubble, let them run, let them play, let them do whatever. And when that happens, then they're left with either amputation or letting them go if orthopedically they can't, you know, uh, function on three legs. So it's been really exciting. And yeah. you refer to this as a bi... It's called a bisphosphonate. So bisphosphonates are a group of drugs. Um, there are actually commercials on it. Uh, you may have seen Fosamax for women. That's a, so women with osteoporosis, osteopenia. Uh, there's oral forms of the drug. Zolidronate is probably, I would guess, um, I don't know the exact number, but it's probably 200 times, 300 times, maybe 500 times more potent than that Fosamax. And so, so Zolidronate is probably the, the, the most superior bisphosphonate that's out. Um, and so there's other bisphosphonates. Anybody can use bisphosphonates. So our so Zolidronate is quite expensive. It's a clinical trial. So the client does not get the Zolidronate. The is free um, here. But there's other bisphosphonates that can be done at any clinic, anywhere. Um, maybe not as potent as the Zolidronate um, at, a, at a very economical cost. There's another one, like its brother or sister drug is called Pimidronate. So Pimidronate is how we were treating our dogs with seeing really nice results. Um, and uh, we have a bunch of dogs that we would treat and come in for their Pimidronate.